So here it is, the second half of a home-and-home home series between the Blue Jackets and the Philadelphia Flyers. And Jody, I would imagine the Blue Jackets are happy that they get to face the Flyers again. Not happy with the way the game ended two nights ago in Philadelphia with the Flyers scoring five times in the third period. But you do get the opportunity to go right back at that same team tonight. Yeah, we spoke of this before, but this is on a bigger scale. They had full control of the game, 3-0, 4-2 late in the third period. Five goals in the third period, like you said, Bob, it hurt. And we were on the plane on the way home. It was quiet. Yesterday, the tone was quiet here. The Blue Jackets are excited to have this opportunity tonight against the Philadelphia Flyers. It's like there's not going to be any Christmas cheer unless you get the job done. Because you're right, there was no cheer the other night. But the Blue Jackets do have a couple of things to be happy about. They're going to get two players back into the lineup tonight. And one of those is forward Marion Gavrick. Now, he's missed the last couple of weeks. And he knows it's going to take a little bit of time to get adjusted tonight. I feel confident out there in terms of uh, the injury and, and uh, myself also. You know, I only had a couple of practices, but you know, uh, you get you get into game shape by playing games. So um, hopefully, it's gonna it's not gonna take me a while to to jump into it. Marion Gabrick is a guy that's played against the Flyers a lot when he played in New York with the Rangers. What does he bring to the Blue Jackets lineup tonight? Speed. He brings a lot of speed and he brings that attack dynamic. The Flyers know it. But the Blue Jackets are excited to have him in there. He's a horse, and he can be, and they need him to be tonight. James Wisniewski also returns on the blue line for the Blue Jackets tonight, and he knows Philadelphia is going to be a pretty confident team at the start of this game. Here's what Wisniewski says the Blue Jackets have to do to take that confidence away. I think the biggest thing is you have to make sure we play Columbus Blue Jacket hockey, and that's you know winning all the one-on-one -on -one battles and, and getting the pucks deep and, and making it hard for them to come back to the offensive zone. Once you do that, you can kind of you know, diminish the team's uh, confidence when you play that in-your-face in type style because it doesn't give them any room to, to freewheel. Well, besides the fact that James Wisniewski gives you more of a physical presence on the back end, he also gives you offense. I imagine he'll help the power play. And also, Ryan Murray gets his partner back. Yeah, he helps the power play. They need it. Murray, yeah, that settles him down a little bit. He did a great job with Savard the last few games. But yeah, having Wisniewski, he's more familiar with. Big game, it's good to have him back there. Let's talk about the Philadelphia Flyers in the one line that really the Blue Jackets couldn't handle the other night was Claude Giroux and Jakub Voracek. Jake had a couple of points. Those two guys are playing together really well. Yeah, they've had chemistry right since Jake got put with Claude Giroux. And the other night, they dominated in the third period, and they got the result they wanted. Their horses and the Blue Jackets have to shut those guys down tonight. Speaking of shutdown, Sean Couturier, he has an offensive upside, but the other night it was all about his defense. You know what? This guy plays against the big players in the league, Ovechkin, Malkin, and the other night his assignment was Joe Hansen in his line, and they did a good job. Joe Hansen on that line needs a rebound tonight and put Couturier on the back burner. All right. I know it's serious here tonight, but you haven't mentioned my tie once. I love your tie, Bob. It's definitely a Christmas tie, and who is that? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Nice job. Yeah, thanks. He doesn't mean any of that, <laughs> but that's okay. That'll do it for tonight's Time Warner Rink Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.